It was an early morning at Farquhar Sheds, and Thomas was talking about the day's events prior. Much to the annoyance of Percy. And that's why Percy is called Thomas's branch line. I'm the important engine here. I pull the trains and the coaches and all that. Cuh! The way you're speaking about it, you're making it seem like you're pulling the express. You're just pulling a bunch of coaches, no offense, Henrietta. Don't take him, Percy. Yes, anyway, you're just pulling a bunch of coaches up a line in back. It's nothing special. So stop bragging about it. <laughs> you're only saying that because you can't pull coaches, Percy. You're just a dirty goods engine. Oh, come off him, Thomas. He didn't do anything to you. And Percy, I think you did great at pulling coaches. And it'd be a nice change from you. Says the dirty diesel only works in quarries. Get these ideas out your funnel, Percy. You pull trucks and all that. Nothing special. This did make Percy sad. So he just puffed back into his shed in shame. Now, if you lot don't mind, and I hope you don't, I have a real train to get ready. Enjoy the mail run, Percy. He joked as he puffed off. But what he didn't know was Toby was secretly listening to everything. Oh, he is right. Toby, I've had no experience with coaches whatsoever. What am I supposed to do about it? Well, we didn't learn how to pull coaches all on our shows, you know. We had experience. And if you learn how to pull coaches properly, you can put Thomas in his place. How does that sound? Well, that does sound like a good idea. What do you make of it, Mavis? It sounds great, Percy. And I mean, if it gets Thomas to shut up for a bit, then I guess that's just a plus. But then, who's going to teach me? Gordon was on his everyday express run straight down to Natford. He was wasting no time at all. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Mustn't be late! And like every single time he pulls the express, he came into the station right on time. Thirty minutes early. You even surprised yourself, Gordon. Hello, Gordon. Ah! Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, oh. Percy. What are you doing on my line? Oh. Sorry, but uh, could you uh, teach me how to pull coaches? You? Coaches? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Percy! Oh, <laughs> that's 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 a good one, Percy. That's, that's exactly that's good what one. Thomas said. You got me. <laughs> that was, you got me with that one. <laughs> Thomas said what? Yeah, he said oh, I'd never be able to pull coaches like him, and I thought maybe I could learn how to pull coaches so I I could show him up. Leave me in the yards in ten minutes, Percy, and make sure you're quick. Later, they went to the yard and collected some coaches. Now do take in mind, Percy. You want to pull the train. Yes, yes, pull the train. Got it. All right. Come on, come on, come on! But his wheels only slipped on the rails. Percy, Percy, stop! Percy, Percy! Percy! What happened? Percy, I told you to pull the train, not to drag it. Unfortunately, the coach has had some stern words for Gordon. Listen, if he tries again, he'll get it right, I promise. No, we are not going with that little green caterpillar ever again, Gordon. Unfortunately, there was nothing Gordon could do about it, so he collected some unused branch line coaches instead. Unfortunately... He hadn't any better luck with it. The other engines just I laughed at their misfortune. Castle, Douglas. No, I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the day was no better. 
as the misfortune continued. You know, Gordon, if you're trying to raise a replacement, <laughs> well, good luck to you. You're not getting anywhere without one. Over the rest of the day, Gordon got to know how much of a troublemaker person could really be. The amount of accidents he'd had in one single day with the amount of coaches was incredible. And sometimes, Gordon even wondered why the fact control even had Percy to begin with. But to be fair to Percy, Gordon wasn't really teaching him much. So, uh, you think I'll be able to pull coaches tomorrow? Percy, if you've proven anything to me today, is that you should not be allowed within five miles of a station. The fact I've allowed you to shunt my trains for all these years is ridiculous. But it wasn't that bad, was it? That, that bad, that bad. <laughs> that, that, that bad. Percy, that was horrible. I mean, I, I don't even know. You, you single-handedly put every single spare coach we've had in the works in a day. The fat controller's gonna have my tender for this. So, don't you ever think of pulling a passenger train ever again. Sorry. Gordon continued soaking all the way into the night until Edward finally perked up. Difficult day, Gordon? He asked. Oh, Edward. How do you do it? These small tank engines drive me insane. Oh, Percy. That's what you're on about. All you need is a little bit of patience, Gordon. Nobody's great on their first try. Oh, that's what you think, Edward. Straight out of Doncaster Works, I was a natural. Now, it is getting late. And I would rather go to sleep and talk further. Good night, Edward. Good night, Gordon. Back a bit, back a bit, Gordon. All right, you're doing well. Okay, now, just put a little more speed in it. We don't want to take forever now. Would you please stop being such a worry? I've got this all under control. <laughs> ow, 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 my buttons. Ow. Jeez, oh. oh, oh, oh dear. I am so sorry. You better be. Well, brought this makes perfect, Gordon. Just try not to do that again. Coaches are not trucks, and you must treat them as such. Now come along. I still have to show you the line. to work with Gordon because you're a prototype Bill you can't handle the bigger trains that me and the other engines take I am sorry for my outburst yesterday I was just a bit nervous is all hold buffers you know get on oh I understand Gordon you all that way once but we learn accidents happen though you're doing well and since you've been cooped up in that workshop for so many years how about you give them a proper run, Gordon? I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Gordon. Gordon. Wake up now, Gordon. It's a special day today. Hmm... Yes, sir. What is it, sir? Wow! 
the railway inspector has come to this island. And if we do well, we'll finally get that new passenger engine we've been waiting for. So, I want you to take the train. Mmm, sir, I would, sir, but I'm not <coughs> feeling too well. For a second second, though. Excuse me? Uh, are you so sure about that, Gordon? It's a very important train, and I thought you might want to take it. I think it will be perfectly fine, sir. <coughs> Percy is full of surprises. He'll pull something off. Well, then I guess that shuttle's it. Now, Percy, I believe you've heard. Would you mind taking the inspector's train? Oh, yes, sir. Please, sir. All right, then. Be there on the platform in ten minutes, Percy. Hmm. Oh, he will do well. When Percy arrived at the station, he was greeted by two lovely-looking coaches, while the fat controller greeted the railway inspector. If this inspection goes fine, Topham, you will expect a new engine within the week. I say, Topham, is that the engine that shall be taking us? Yes, he is Percy. Our number four is fallen a bit ill, so we won't be able to take the train. Well, I have not travelled beyond the tank engine before. I do hope this is satisfactory. <laughs> well, that's a bit unfortunate, innit? Couldn't even get the right tank engine to take the train. Yeah. And they couldn't even get a nice looking tender engine to pull it either. They just got a caterpillar of red stripes. <laughs> the words from the two sucked out all the confidence from Percy. He now felt really silly and really out of place. Oh, never mind them, Percy. They're just jealous they can't pull such a prestigious train as you. Thomas is stuck on branch line duty and James is stuck on goods work for the rest of the week. But you know what to do. You need to pull the coaches with you, not against you. No dragging now, Gordon advised. All right, all right. I think I know what to do. Percy said confidently. As he pulled the train out to the station, he shocked everyone with how well he pulled it. The simple words from Gordon were to teach him exactly what to do. <laughs> that sure put you in your place, Thomas. Now run off to your branch line, why don't you? But Thomas didn't respond. He just looked at his buffers, embarrassed. But as Gordon looked off at Percy in the distance, for once, he felt proud. I'm sorry to put a damp on your day, Henry, but they tried their best. They can't fix the bridge in time. Oh, and I've got all ready as well. You aren't just going to leave me out in the rain, are you? Well, sorry, Henry, but there's nothing much I can do about it. I'll go find myself a hotel and uh, I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you in the morning. That'll end. Ugh. It's gonna ruin my paint too. And I'm gonna feel all groggy in the morning. <sighs> Just my luck. Huh. 
Uh, oh, driver must have moved me in the night. Uh, well, at least I can get a proper night of sleep this way. 